he's yielding. It's going to fall. Quiet! Ganesh, quite an obstacle you've placed in my path. You sure that's it? No. Shut up and watch. Right. Here. Yeah. That was unexpected. <gasps> Holy shit, she's got balls, huh? I, I don't understand. It's an idiom. That's because you've got it all twisted, my friend. Ganesh allowed himself to be struck by the axe. <sighs> that makes no sense. Not to a selfish prick, no. <laughs> See, Ganesh could have defeated Parashurama easily. But if he had, that would have made Shiva's axe look weak, powerless. Gonna sacrificed himself to preserve his father's honor. See, even she gets it, not a drop of Indian blood in her. Magnificent, isn't it? Oh, what? Nothing to say now? Oh, if you like, I can tell you where to stick it. <laughs> well, my friends, I would love to kill you myself, but we must not anger the gods, for you have brought me a great fortune. Okay, then, what are you doing? You're going to flood the chamber. I will miss you. Come on, is this really necessary? You know, nothing is ever truly destroyed. Only purified and reborn. Just shoot us and get it over with. Right? As the water fills your lungs, you will have time to reflect on the choices that brought you here. Perhaps in your next lives, you will fare better. Prick. I don't know about you guys, but I got a lot of regrets swimming around in my head right now. Well, tell me about it. I was really looking forward to kicking your ass again. Hey, you know, I'm not exactly thrilled about drowning next to you, either. Could you give it a rest, guys? I'm trying to concentrate. What are you doing? A little preparation goes a long way. Ha <laughs> ha, yes! Okay, now do me! I'm coming! Oh, okay, all right. Damn it! Ah! Ladies first! 
Chloe's dear, not to rush you, but could you please hurry the hell up? Take a deep breath. <laughs> Buyers. What do you mean? Just over heard a soft talking about <clears throat> heading to the old rail yard, something about an arms deal. He's selling the tusk. It's not much for preserving his culture. Hey, just a second. Listen, uh, <clears throat> back there. Thanks for professional courtesy. <laughs> of course. So, are we good? No. I figured. If we hurry, we can intercept them before they make the sale. Ha! Huh. And there's our ride. These are nice. There. Railroad tracks. Stop here. Sov will have lookouts throughout the area. Best door on the side of caution. Right, right, right. And then we lose the tusk. You're welcome to stay behind. I'm if just you like. saying. All right, that right, maybe... right, right, right. Less talking, more walking. So all that time in Asov's care, and you couldn't get any intel on the bias? Uh, well, I tried. Asov's a cagey one. Almost never talks shop in front of me. Can't imagine why. Hey, he trusted me enough to believe I was an expert in all this hoisala crap. Hoist the law. Yeah, the two. By the way, thanks for keeping him busy for us. Yeah, you know, I wanted to buy you some time in case you were coming to get me. Of course we were. Seriously, thanks. I only thought I was a goner. I wouldn't let that happen. Your brother would never let me hear the end of it. 